You sit down at a blackjack table and notice other players at the table are putting chips on some side bet called something like super duper mega bonus. After a while, a guy hits a big payout and gets paid a couple hundred dollars on it and he turns to you and he says, hey man, you gotta play the side bet. That's where the real money is at. What are blackjack side bets? Why do casinos offer them? How do they affect the game? And most importantly, can they actually be beaten? I'm Colin from Blackjack Apprenticeship and I'm gonna answer those questions in this video. Hey guys, I'm Colin. I've been a professional card counter for over 15 years. I've personally beaten casinos for well over $600,000. I've run blackjack teams responsible for being casinos for nearly $4 million. And through Blackjack Apprenticeship, I train others how to legally beat casinos through card counting and advantage play. And I wanna explain exactly what side bets are and how they work. Side bets are typically an optional bet at a blackjack table that actually has nothing to do with how you play your main blackjack bet. Some of the most common side bets are 21 plus three, Matt's the dealer and Buster blackjack. And then there's a whole slew of them that usually have bonus or lucky or something like that in the title. And technically even insurance is a side bet because you don't need to take insurance and it doesn't affect how you play your hand in blackjack. So why do casinos offer side bets? Generally speaking, blackjack is a very low volatility game. You place a bet and you usually win or lose a bet. Maybe you double down, split, you win or lose a couple bets, but it doesn't get much more volatile than that. Other games in the casino have larger payouts, like craps might have an optional bet that would pay 30 to one, or if you hit a single number on a roulette wheel, it pays 35 to one. To the player, the bigger payouts give a similar feeling to playing the lottery. You hardly ever win, but when you do, you get this big payout and it comes with that big dopamine rush. Casinos wanna offer players at the blackjack table that same dopamine rush, but it's gonna cost you. Now, a normal blackjack game that is played with perfect basic strategy gives the casino only about half of 1% of an edge over the player. So it's this small edge. They make up for it because it's a pretty fast moving game, but it's a very small edge. Now these side bets can have a house edge as low as 3%, but oftentimes the house edge gets into double digits, like a 10 or 12% house edge. So with these blackjack side bets, in the best case scenario, the casino has a six times greater advantage over you than the normal blackjack bet, but oftentimes it's much, much higher in the casino's favor. So it really is like playing the lottery where you're playing at a huge disadvantage in the hopes of hitting a big payout. If you're looking to have your money last as long as it possibly can at the blackjack tables, don't play these side bets. They can be far worse than even slot machines. But this channel is really for people that want to beat blackjack. So let's talk about how these side bets affect us advantage players at the table. Well, we already know that these side bets make the casinos a ton of money. But secondly, these stupid things slow the game down. Blackjack is a pretty fast game and you can expect typically 100 rounds per hour, but you put a side bet on there or God forbid two side bets on a blackjack table and these things crawl to a snail's pace. The casinos don't mind that the game is slowed down because the house edge on these side bets is so high. But for us card counters, time is money. I've personally chosen times to avoid a game with slightly better rules at it because it had multiple side bets when I could play another table with slightly worse rules, but I knew I could play two or three times as many rounds per hour. Now I know what some of you are thinking right now, which is, Colin, what if I play this side bet as cover? Then the casinos won't suspect me of card counting. Well, I have two responses to that. First off, you're probably giving the casinos a little too much credit. Now I've tried all sorts of things to try to camouflage my play or throw the casino off to the fact that I'm a winning player, but the vast majority of the time when they back me off, it's because I'm either winning too much or because they see my bets moving and placing a bet on the side bet here or there is not going to change that. The second thing I'd say is you have to know the cost of the cover. So let's say that you got a true three and you're throwing down a $50 bet at that true three. The actual EV of that bet is 50 cents. If you say, well, for cover, why don't I put just $10 on this side bet? Even with a side bet with a modest house edge of 5%, the cost of that side bet cover play is 50 cents. So in this situation, you just cost yourself every penny of EV that you're generating off the main bet. That's just one example. You could bet less on the cover bet. You could bet more on your main bet. But again, you need to calculate exactly how much this cover play is costing you. 
and the vast majority of the time it's far too expensive. And if you really want to avoid heat, you could simply bet less on the main bet rather than giving up a bunch of that EV on a side bet at a much higher disadvantage. But again, if you're gonna bet less on the main bet, you're generating less EV and making yourself less money. Just because a side bet seems to you like it might be a good opportunity, don't just follow your heart or your intuition. That is a great recipe to lose a lot of money. Let's talk about beating side bets. At this point, it should be clear that you should avoid them unless you know the math behind them and you've found a vulnerability specific to that side bet that you can take advantage of. How can we understand the math and find out if a side bet has a vulnerability? Well, sometimes side bets have already been calculated for you simply by Googling the name of the side bet. There are sites out there like Wizard of Odds where Michael Shackelford has run the numbers on a side bet or Elliot Jacobson at 888casinos.com. These are guys that they're actuaries, they're mathematicians and either for the casinos or just out of curiosity, they've run these side bets and found out one, what is the house edge? And two, if there might be a vulnerability. It's rare, but sometimes these vulnerabilities are shared on the internet already. There's a podcast I did with a BJ member and former professional card carrier named The Phoenix, and he beat a side bet that was posted on the internet about how to count cards at it. He beat it for over $300,000 over the course of nine months. It took him mastering a different card counting system and it took him working some casino relations magic, but he did it to the tune of over $300,000. There are a couple beatable side bets that you don't have to learn a different count for. They actually correlate with high low, and that would be Lucky Ladies and King's Bounty. Those become advantageous at a true six and a half, or really probably wait for a true seven. It's not a lot of EV, but in that situation, it does become advantageous to the player to play that side bet. Other times you need to be able to program the numbers yourself or find someone who can. I know that sounds like a lot of work, but these are those unique opportunities that if you find a vulnerability that no one else knows about, it can be highly advantageous. But again, we trust math. We follow what can be proven through simulations. I've known teams, blackjack teams, of programmers who focus their energy on finding side bets that they could exploit. It might be that they're actually counting the color of the cards or they're counting the suit or there's a very elaborate card counting system that takes advantage of that side bet and then they crush it for large amounts of money. Be aware that not every opportunity in a casino has a vulnerability. The people that put these side bets together usually aren't dummies, but to the analytical, especially if you have the programming skills, opportunities abound. I've probably played half a dozen beatable side counts, but to be honest with you, 99% of the money I've made is good old fashioned card counting at the main blackjack bet. For more on being blackjack, you can check out our free card counting mini course or check out our entire membership dedicated to teaching people how to beat blackjack for real money.